Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So the Lakers, 0 for 1 already. They definitely struck out on Paul George. He decided to go back to the Oklahoma City Thunder. And what are the plans now for LA? Who are they going to be focusing on and what are they going to be trying to do? Now, Kawhi Leonard, that is still a trade. But what we're hearing right now, the Lakers have been super passive and they really haven't tried to go after Kawhi by offering some of the big packages that they could essentially try to offer. But now seeing Paul George go back to OKC, especially when you think about from the Lakers perspective, you could have had Paul George last year. All you had to do was trade Brandon Ingram or the second overall pick. You didn't move either. And now... Paul George is going to stick around in Oklahoma City with Russell Westbrook. So now are you going to up your offer to make sure you bring in Kawhi Leonard or are you going to stay pecked? That is something the Lakers are going to have to decide on. LeBron James, I think he's still a wild card. But another option for the Lakers, of course, is to go out and try to sign some big guys to one-year deals. And the first guy that's going to come to mind, of course, is going to be DeMarcus Cousins. Now, DeMarcus Cousins, he is likely, I think, right now to stay with the New Orleans Pelicans. I think the Washington Wizards have an opportunity there. I don't think the chances are great. I think he will love to go to Washington. Just when you look at the financials, I don't think it really fits that perfectly with Washington. They have to make a few moves to be able to pull this off. Can they do it? Of course. Are they going to? I definitely doubt it. So now you look at DeMarcus Cousins and the Lakers. DeMarcus Cousins' second option was the Dallas Mavericks. They have now agreed to a one-year deal with DeAndre Jordan worth $24 million. So now they're out of the market for DeMarcus Cousins. If the Lakers strike out, I wouldn't see why the Lakers would not offer DeMarcus Cousins a one-year max deal, maybe a one-on-one deal with a player option or a team option or even a shorter deal, maybe two or three years with another option. I think that is definitely a possibility for the Lakers if they do strike out right here. I think a lot of teams are still worried about that torn Achilles from DeMarcus Cousins. But Everything we've seen from DeMarcus Cousins on the courts, he's a top center in the NBA by far. Is he going to be able to, you know, keep doing that with that torn Achilles or coming back from that torn Achilles? I'm not quite sure. Typically, that injury is not great to big man, but you never know. DeMarcus Cousins could definitely be an anomaly. He could come back. He could play back to the regular level that we're used to seeing Boogie Cousins at. And it'll be a great signing for the Lakers if they are able to do that. But like I said, um, it's definitely going to be interesting for the Lakers. They need to make a move sometime soon, I think. I definitely do think so. Yes, they could, you know, theoretically only get one star. Then come into the summer of 2019, try to get another star at that point. But I think to salvage this summer, I think they're going to have to start talking. I think they're going to have to be more aggressive than they currently have been. Of course, LeBron James is on his own timeline. You cannot rush that. But you might have to go out and try to wow DeMarcus Cousins and pay him as much money as possible for your one year. It's going to be a max deal, of course, if the Lakers are able to do that. Because now you have to tell them to not sign with the New Orleans Pelicans. You can come here. You could be the guy. And maybe that could convince DeMarcus Cousins to actually come to L.A. But we'll see what happens. I definitely think that is a possibility that DeMarcus Cousins could end up in L.A. I, I think for sure the Lakers will offer him a contract if they haven't already. And we just don't know about it. But you guys let me know how you guys feel about this in the comment section below. Do you think DeMarcus Cousins will be a good fit with the Lakers? Do you think they should offer him a deal? And if you are Magic Johnson and Rob Palenka, what do you offer DeMarcus Cousins? Is it a one year? Is it a one plus one? Is it a two, three, four, five years or four years? Excuse me. Let me know how you guys feel about that in the comment section below. It's your boy D. Lord. Let me see y'all next time. Peace.